All right, guys, what's going on? I thought I, was, I thought I would do something a little bit different. I kind of do voiceovers every once in a while, but today we're going to go through uh, some footage, um, some I did last week, some I did this week, um, just recording a little bit here and there, but uh, just some kind of different mowing. We got, uh, we got the uh, push mowing with the, with the Time Master. We got mowing in the rain, and we got mowing with the Skag, just kind of some different stuff, and we'll just kind of, let it play, kind of talk through it, and just kind of have some fun with it. All right, so as some of you guys know that follow me on Instagram, I did, uh, I did post that uh, I got a new Toro Time Master, and this is something I've been wanting to do uh, for a long time. I've wanted one, but I never really thought I could justify the purchase because, you know, it's $1,100. And uh, we ended up getting the electric start, so it was $100 more. Uh, so it's a $1,100 push mower. And what I've usually done is i kind of done the geek to freak method for a while. Um, I just go buy a new $300 push mower every year. And because uh, we just we just beat those all the heck. And just go buy a new push mower every year. And uh, just do it that way. But I finally decided uh, after talking with uh, Johnny Moe, um, he told me I would love it. And um, so I ended up going and buying one, and he's right, he's right, I do love it. Um, I'm not a big fan of the controls, but I understand why they did it that way, the kind of, the self-paced deal. Um, not a huge fan of that, just takes a little bit of getting used to, uh, but it is a bigger push mower than what I'm used to. So um, it took me a few yards to kind of, you know, get, get the little knock down, but man, it sure does save a lot of time. It cuts really well, as you guys can see right here. Um, and I haven't, I haven't been able to bog it down quite yet. So um, all in all, I'm really, really loving this machine and I'm loving what it can do and it's gonna save us some time for sure. Okay, so next we have the, uh, the walker. You guys have seen this a million times. We're gonna kind of get kind of a low profile view. Um, I really like that. Uh, you can see kind of how well it cuts. It just, it literally looks like a flat top and that's what I like. But uh, this is actually the front yard uh, to the one we just push mowed. And uh, it's a pretty small backyard. I only go up and down it like four or five times and it's done. You can see Justin back there kind of blowing off. Uh, really, really easy property to mow. And this is a, this is a neighborhood that um, I'm starting to get a lot of yards in and I love them because they're nice. They're all really simple to mow and it's just one of my, one of my favorite neighborhoods to mow in. And uh, this is the other day when I was mowing by myself. Um, this is a this is actually a bi-weekly we picked up at the beginning of the year. Funny story about this one is you see the front right here. You see the little gate. It has a little backyard. For the first couple months we mowed it, um, I didn't know. I didn't even bother to check because most things, most properties have a front and, you know, fenced-in yard or whatever. That's the backyard. Well, not this property. There's actually a patch of grass behind that fence, behind, you know, there's another fence back there uh, that we have to mow. And like I said, it took two months to figure it out. And why the homeowner didn't tell us kind of after the first couple mows, I have no idea. Uh, but this one's a pretty easy one to mow uh, as well. And, uh, you know, this one here, you know, you can kind of tell I'm going back over the same stripes. It's a bi-weekly. I'm really not in any danger of running up the yard. Sometimes I will go crossways, but I do like g going up that hill. So this one here, um, uh, we're, we're trying to beat the rain. You can see the weather, and it just started to sprinkle right about as I just started mowing, and then it just comes down. It comes down like no other, and I'm literally on the side of the house right now um, underneath the overhang, just kind of hanging up you know, next to the house trying not to get wet. And... It does kind of start to let up just a little bit. So, um, you know, I'm just like, whatever, we've already started, so let's get this thing done. And uh, it ended up turning out pretty pretty nice. And uh, this one here is a uh, property we just picked up. Um, this is only the second time we mowed it. It's kind of a rental house. I don't think we're gonna have it too long. Once they get renters in there, uh, we're probably not gonna have it anymore, but it's right in the neighborhood of what I was just talking about, that we mow like eight in that neighborhood now literally within like a block or two of each other and then i got three like right on the same street and i got there were two that are back to back and then one that's kind of two houses down 
I mean, we can literally knock out those three in like 45 minutes. Um, so, you know, that, that, that's kind of what I'm looking for now. You know, I got the amount of properties that I want. We're sitting around 45. Um, I'd like to get to that 50 range, uh, but I'd like to get more condensed. And we've talked about that a lot, but um, that's just something that, uh, you know, I mean, we can knock out these six, seven or eight properties in under two hours. I mean, they're just all pretty small. This here is the biggest one by far, the backyard. It's, it's decent size, but it still doesn't take very long to mow. Um, so that's the backyard there. And then uh, here, just a second, we're gonna show you guys the front yard. So the, the first time we mowed this property, the edge was not very good at all. Hadn't been edged in a while. Actually hadn't been mowed in a while either. And um, so we got the edge looking good again. Justin's blown off with the BR800. Um, this is where one of those backpack blowers that can really, really blow comes in really, really handy when it's wet. I mean, you get a handheld blower, you'd be out there forever trying to get that grass off of there. So anyway, guys, that's kind of the video. Just kind of wanted to have some fun, kind of talk about a few yards and, um, you know, just kind of do it that way. But um, we'll see you guys later.